So here in this problem, we are provided with the angles of a quadrilateral and it's mentioned here that these angles are in arithmetic progression. And it's also given that the angle of the greatest angle, angle measure of the greatest angle will be 120 degrees. Now we have to find out each of the angles and also represent each of the angles in terms of radius. So let us begin. Now since the four angles of the quadrilateral are in arithmetic progression, so we have to choose the angles in a very careful fashion. So we'll first consider the interior angles of the quadrilateral. Now we have to be very spe specific while choosing the angle. So we'll choose the first angle to be A minus 3D. Then the angle followed by it will be A minus D. Then we'll consider A plus D and A plus 3D. Now these angles are chosen in such a way that we have a common difference of 2D and the number forms an arithmetic progression. Okay, now we know that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle uh, of a quadrilateral adds up to 360 degrees. So that means if we add a minus 3d with a minus d and a plus d and a plus 3d, so they are going to sum up to 360 degrees. Fine. So clearly, negative 3d and positive 3d, negative d and positive d, they all cancel out. Now we are left with four times of angle a. This will be equals to 360 degrees, so A comes out to be 90 degree. Okay, fine. So we have found out the value of 90 degree. Now it's given here that the value of the greatest angle is 120. So what will be the greatest angle? That means the angle of one with the highest angle measure. So the greatest angle here is nothing but A plus 3D. So it's given here that this value is 120 degree. And just now we obtained the value of A, so that's 90 degree plus 3D. So let's solve for the value of d. So here we have uh, 120 minus 90. So that's going to be equal to 30 degree. So d comes out to be 10 degrees. So now we have the value of d. So we can find out all the angles. So a minus 3d. So a is 90 minus 3 times 10. So that's 30. So this is going to correspond to 60 degrees. Fine. Then we have a minus d. So that's 90 minus 10. So that's going to be 80 degrees. Then we have a plus d, so we have 90 plus 10 degree, so that's 100 degrees. And then we have a plus 3d, so that's 90 plus 30 degree, and we have already, it's been provided to us, this, this value, the greatest angle is 120 degree. So we have obtained each of the angles, but each of the angles are in degrees. So we'll have to convert it to the corresponding radian measure. So how do we do that? Now we know that whenever we have an angle given in degrees, so, uh, if we are uh, having an angle given in degree, in order to go to radian, all we have to do is take the theta value, which is in degrees, and multiply it with pi over 180. And this is going to convert it to radian. So, that means 60 degree, in order to convert it to radian, we have to multiply it with pi over 180. So, that's simply 60 times 3 is pi over 3. So, we have pi over 3. Then, this is a 60 degree. Then, we have... 80 degree, so 80 degree, so we'll have to do is multiply 80 with pi over 180. So that's going to correspond to 4 pi over 9 radians. Fine. Similarly, we have 100 degrees, so 100 degree will be 100 into uh, pi divided by 180. So this is going to correspond to, so 0 and 0 gets factored out, so we have 5 pi over 9. So clearly we observe that this is the uh, option B, which is matching with the angle. We don't have to uh, compute. If you want, you can compute 120 degrees. So that will be 2 pi over 3 radian. So B is going to be the correct answer.